Okay guys, we're testing out the Renogy 200 watt. It's the uh, glass portable solar panel. And we're gonna see how many watts we can pull in with, uh, we're gonna try a few different power stations. Right now we have the Blue Eddy EB3A hooked up to it. And let's see what kind of power we're bringing in with it. So with this one, we're bringing in 133. Uh, the EB3A actually claims it can bring in 200 watts. I've seen some other videos. I have not tested this one that extensively, but I've seen some other videos where they brought in about 165 watts. Now, I probably don't have this on the perfect angle, but it does look like we got good sun. One thing about this uh, solar panel is it comes with the charge controller, but I have that unhooked and I am just running straight to the power station. So if you did get one of these to run with a power station, you would have to unhook the uh, charge controller just a matter of unhooking the mc4 connection and then plugging it into your power station now let's give a couple more a try we're gonna try the anchor 767 and the blue eddy ac 200 max so do the next two we try right now in a second okay we have the anchor 767 hooked up now so if we can see the display it's bringing in 132 watts so it's pretty close to what the eb3a was bringing in the blue eddy eb3a uh, so they're both pretty close. Like I said, I probably could readjust the angle on the solar panel. Get this off. I had that on there so we could uh, see see the screen. I probably could readjust the angle on the solar panel and get some more watts. But on this table, that's as far back as I can get it. And I want to have it up here so I could put the power stations on the back. So we're about to try the uh, AC 200 Max. The only thing with the Anchor 767 is it has a xt60 port in the back to plug it in so you would if you're going to hook up to a solar panel that has the mc4 connections you're going to have to get an mc4 connection to if i can unplug it to the uh, xt60 connection so if you're trying to hook it up to something other than the anchor solar panels also, Anchor has just come out with a 400 watt solar panel and it actually has the MC4 connections and it comes with the MC4 connections with the uh, XT60 connection to plug into the back of it. It just came out with that a couple weeks ago. All right, so we're about to try the Blue Eddy AC200 Max and see what kind of watts we're getting with it. All right, I have it leaned back some more, but it it's still not getting over that 133. So I was able to max it at 133. I actually laid it down all the way flat and I got 100 watts there. I think I'm getting about 120 something here. Let's see. Getting 128 there. So uh, it really didn't do much better by leaning it back. So that's where we're at and it's about 9 30 in the morning as the sun comes up you may be able to get some more watts with it but that's what i got today playing around with it so that's the renergy the renergy 200 watt solar panel portable solar panel the glass panel as with anything the power stations on our solar panels we're going to have them on our website and then the comments below i will have a link to the website so this is it folded up in its case, ready for storage. As you see, it's got a little handle right here. And it comes with a little carry case. I didn't fold it up for you because it would be hard to do and film at the same time. I just wanted to show you what it looked like when it was folded up and ready for storage. Thank you for taking time out with us and watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna have a link in the uh, comments down below to our webpage. And uh, you can get on there and shop around for anything that you may be interested in, whether it's the uh, power stations that were in this video or any of them that we show in our videos or the solar panels. We'll have them on our webpage.